Hey there everybody, it's Coach Janet coming at you with a video blog. I haven't blogged for some time, um, been quite busy with a few business projects and we were in Vermont last weekend on a hiking vacation. The spa we were staying at is also promoted as a weight loss spa and I might blog about that because the menu, the food we were provided was of low quality, the choices were really limited in fact, I wanted more protein at my first meal and I was told no. Um, they wouldn't give me any more food or any options. I did end up speaking to the owner and some of the other guests credited me with changes that were introduced on our last day. Well, I might talk about that as a different rant thing. Today I wanted to talk about some questions that I heard when we were on the hike. and. More than once, I heard people say they give us trail mix in the morning for the hike. Oh, I can't eat the dried fruit. That's going to make me fat, won't it? I heard that two or three times. I heard another girl saying, I smuggled in a banana. I know it's forbidden food, but I have to eat this banana. So I, wanted, I so wanted to jump in and talk to those ladies, but um, I tend not to do that. So you get to hear me talk about it. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, what I wanted to say is we, I think we need to get away from thinking foods will make us fat. Like any food, if you eat it in excess, will make you fat. If you're eating organic, lean, beautiful chicken, eat too much of it, your body will store it as fat. You've overconsumed what the energy you need. It has no choice. It's going to put that in your fat cells. So any food will make you fat. And I think we need to think of food Rather than thinking of food as good or bad food, think about it on a continuum. And at one end of the continuum, you have very healthy, nutritious food that's going to fuel your body, like raw, organic foods. And on the other end, you've got highly processed, maybe um, those frozen dinners are a good example where there's so much chemicals and 71 ingredients, half of which you don't know, not a lot of nutrients, not a lot of vitamins. So we can, and we're going to eat on that continuum sometimes throughout the day, sometimes throughout our life at various degrees. And it's just about being aware. So I would like to address the carb continuum because I think carbs is the most confusing of all the food, group, food groups, um, just because that's where I get most of the questions from. So if we think of the carb continuum on one side, carbs being really high dense, nutri nutrient dense and really good for us, we think of fruits, starchy veggies like sweet potato, potato, squash, um, minimalized processed grains like oats, uh, quinoa, uh, barley, millet, brown rice. And then if we swing to the other end, we've got our sugary cookies and ice cream and cakes and uh, let's see, sugary drinks like soda pop and even orange juice. Um, and then the dried fruit that the girl referred to is probably somewhere in the middle, right? It has been processed. Vitamins and minerals have been stripped, like um, dried raisins, dried cranberries, banana chips. So somewhere in the middle. So if you make most of your choices toward the top end of that continuum, you're going to do just fine. If you had the odd uh, sampling of foods on the other continuum, you know, it's not going to be a deal breaker. It's not game over. It's just an awareness of picking foods that are going to serve your body well. So what I'd leave you with is one, food, any food in, in excess is going to put on fat. And two, let's start thinking about how, what, how, instead of thinking is the food going to make me fat, think about is this food going to fuel my body. And let's most of the time pick those foods that are going to fuel your body better. And that's my story. It's Janet, Coach Janet. Reach out to me if you want a hand in your nutrition journey. I would love to help you. 613-282-5267. Website, www.janetsalazar.com. I'd love to hear from you. Comments and questions below. And uh, have a great week.